What's up, everybody? It's the Common Sense of Buster coming at you with another video, and I am excited this morning. In about another two hours, I've got the people calling from Galileo FX. We'll be setting up the bot. It's getting ready to be installed on my computer and on the phone, and we will be taking advantage of that. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell so that you'll know when the video on Fire and Gary Gensler comes up, there's been a break in the Gary Gensler saga. I'm going to update y'all on that. But for right now, people, this is one of these tough love videos, okay? Because you know I love you, but from time to time, I got to do that spanking. You know what I'm saying? Like Ken Griffin did in his video. I don't understand how. You could have been in this play for three years, and you still don't understand the concept of naked short selling. Tell me how that's possible. Tell me how you can have been in this play for three years, and you still don't understand the significance and how naked short selling works. Because I see videos every single day by dozens of YouTubers who talk about how the shorts have to cover and I just shake my head and I wonder what are they thinking because if you think that a short has to cover in a naked short sale you still don't know what a naked short sale is so I'm going to break it down to you and I'm going to make it simple for the people in the back of the room okay Here's how the transaction goes. If I buy 100 shares of AMC or GME or DJT or NVDA, it makes no difference. The broker withdraws the money from my account right then and sends it to the market maker. All right, and they give me the placeholder of 100 shares for AMC, GME or whatever stock I bought, okay? Let's get that set in our minds that the broker takes the money out of our account, sends it to the market maker, and they put a hundred placeholders in its place. Understand that. Now let's move on to the next step. We have a firm foundation that you have 100 placeholders in your account for the shares you bought, okay? And the market maker has your money. No share has been found to give to you, and it becomes a FTD. And in today's market, that simply means the cost of doing business for a market maker. Now, to set the record straight, because I told somebody today that I do believe that there could be possibly 100 billion synthetic shares of AMC that they've created people selling naked, which means they have put a hundred billion placeholders out there for shares they don't have, all right? But when do they have to get them shares? They never have to get the shares, people. Don't you understand that? Every brokerage account has a terms and service that we all sign that says that they either have to come up with the share or the money equivalent. So, they put 100 placeholders in my account for the shares of AMC. They sent the money to the market maker. And now the market maker simply has to wait until you do what? Push the sell button. That is the only time a, a naked short has to cover, okay? Let me say that in a different way. In order to cover a naked position, they have to wait until somebody pushes the sell button or else they never have to cover it. Now, how bad is the problem is the question. How much money have they removed from retail investors' accounts but never bought the shares? How many naked synthetic FTD shares of AMC, GME, and all the rest are out there? That's what the CAT system was created for. But now... Citadel and the rest of the market makers have said they refuse to put their data into the CAT system. What are they trying to hide? They're trying to hide all the placeholders that they placed in people's accounts. 
and took their money and gave them nothing in return. That's why they refused to put the data in the CAT system. And something has to be done to stop that. See, it's not all about the shorts have to cover, they have to find that share. No. When that stock rises and people start hitting that sell button, they're going to get their asses knocked off. That's the only way they're going to get their ass knocked off. Is when people, when that stock rises and people start selling and they start losing that liquidity, that's going to be their ass. But you need to understand, what is it do they have to cover? They have to cover the placeholders. They don't have to cover a share. So whenever you see a video of somebody saying, oh, well, they shorts have to cover, ask them, cover what? All right, they have to cover the shares they shorted. Stop. They didn't borrow a share. Understand that. There's no share to return, people, because they never borrowed one, because that was one argument today. Well, they have to return what they borrowed. They didn't borrow it. It's naked. Common sense. All right, getting ready for the FX people to be calling me very shortly. Let me get everything set up to get ready to get that phone call. And I will be doing that video later. And I've got the one on firing Gary Gensler to update on getting rid of that son of a bitch. And what's going on might surprise you and could possibly change your vote in this election. So love y'all. Be blessed. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Notification. And I'll see you in the next video. Be blessed.